So what happens if I get rid of dot get name? Even though I've overridden it, what happens? Well, if we compile this Java C test dot Java, all right, no errors. We run this. We're going to get the same thing that we saw when we were designing out arrays. If I tried to do a system dot out dot print line on an array instead of traverse the array and print its elements, I get sort of this memory address. I get this. And that's not very helpful, especially when I look at my student. But, all right, well, what does it mean to be a student? Again, a student's a very odd object. Well, one of the things we're now talking about is this idea of overriding methods, overriding things from our parent class. We talk about the idea that everything in Java is an object, I bow down to the object. I always do that. Well, one of the things that objects actually have is the fact that objects are actually a data type. That's a data type inside of Java. If I want to, I can actually come in here, object blank equals new object. That's perfectly fine. I'll even try and print it blank. Compile. Notice the java.lang.object memory address. It exists. Everything in Java is an object. It starts out as an object. Now, why does that matter? That's actually why when we try and print this, it does you know, the memory address thing. But what we can do is, even though we don't say extends object, it's sort of in place, what I'm able to do is actually override a method from the object data type, which is public string to string. Now what this is going to do is this is actually going to replace that to string, that guy. Now instead of it being student at and a bunch of letters, now we're saying I'm going to actually return something else. If I use this same method over here, but I'm actually going to add a little bit more from to string, just so we can see this in action. Now when I compile my code, and now when I run it, look at that. From to string, Mr. Adam. Why do we want to do this? Well, one of the things we can do is if I want to just print things, maybe instead of uh, doing something like Mr., I come over here and now instead, I just play around with this for a second, but I make a new line equal to my name, plus, plus, inserting a new line, plus this dot balance. And let me include the word balance in there. Name. And of course I could go through and I could insert my list of courses if I wanted to because again those are uh, an array I would still have to kind of go through that process. Now that I've built this two string method notice once again I have not changed it all I'm saying is print s make sure everything's lined up compile it up and of course that's why I stop for a second uh, not a message what am I missing I'm missing a plus sign. Java C. Boom. Java. Boom. Look at that. Name, Adam. Balance, zero. I could add that dollar sign, you know, just to be on that nice side of things. Boom. This is actually where we can start to uh, flesh things out. Maybe I want to uh, test out my object. I want to see what it is. The two string method allows me to do that.